Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basic fundamentals of building any and every website. Every website starts with a website folder. And if you're working in Dreamweaver to make that website, you need to define that website folder. So Dreamweaver knows exactly where to look when you're working on that website. So that's what I'll be teaching you guys how to do today. In addition, in that folder, you need a couple things to stay organized and a couple things just to make your website work. And I'll also be covering that in this tutorial today. So I already went ahead and made my website folder on my desktop. Now you probably don't want to make it on your desktop. You want to make it somewhere that it's going to stay there. You don't want to move your website folder around. Because let's say I make it on my desktop and then I define my site in Dreamweaver and then I move the folder, it won't work because Dreamweaver will still be looking on my desktop to find all the files for the website. So that's going to be a big mess and you don't want to do that. So I just made it on my desktop just so you guys could see it and I'm probably going to delete it after this tutorial anyways. Now if we take a look inside of this website folder, we'll find three other folders. I recommend that you guys make these two. I have an images folder with all the images that I want for the website. I have one picture here just so I can prove a point later on in the video. I have a CSS folder for all the CSS files, uh, mainly the style sheet used for the website. And then I have a source folder for all the PSD uh, files and all the things that I previously would have needed to make the website. And now that that's out of the way, I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up Dreamweaver and let's define the site. Let's click on site, new site, and we'll put our site name as octotest.com. And then our local site folder, we'll browse for that folder that we just made on our desktop. So press choose and press save. So just like that, we defined our website folder. So now what we could do is click on file new and let's create a new HTML page. If we want to define our home page for the website, this is what we need to do. Click on file save as, and we're going to save this in our website folder. And Dreamweaver automatically opens up that website folder because it automatically knows that we're working in that website because we just defined that site. So we have octotest.com here, CSS, images, and source. Now, if we want this to be our homepage, we have to save it as index.html. We don't save it as home.html or octotest.html or whatever your website name is. It always has to be index.html, I-N-D-E-X, or it could be PHP, whatever, but the name has to be index. And that lets your website host know that this is the first page that they need to open and this is the first page of your website. So save index.html inside of your website folder and press save. So now you could go ahead and work on your website all you want and everything will be saved in that website folder. Now everything should be saved in that website folder if you want it to work because later on when you put your website online, you upload everything from your website folder to your website host. And I have another tutorial covering that. But let's prove a point. Let's click on insert image and I'm going to insert that image that I put in the images folder of my website. So we have picture number one here. So we have this image and let's click on file preview and browser and we're going to save it. So we have this image in our website and everything works fine. But let's say we don't save index.html inside of our website folder. So let's click file save as and we'll save it in my documents. It will still have the same name and everything. But if you save it, it's going to warn you. It's going to say update links. Yes or no. Now, see, this is what happens if you don't save it inside of that website folder. And if you don't update the links, you get a corrupt image file and that image isn't going to show up. So there's just that point that I'm trying to prove that the website folder is important and everything needs to be saved in that website folder. So all the links and everything that you use in that website works properly. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something new today. If you want to learn more on how to actually make the website and, and how to branch out from that website folder, then just stay, stay subscribed or subscribe or follow the website for more video tutorials to come. I'll be teaching you guys how to actually make the website, how to design different aspects of the website, and how to add cool things to your website. So that's it. Until next time, I will see you guys later.